Alright guys, mission 8, pop 5 time bubbles, I'm just going to use Cinderella without any booster items, there's really no need for anything uh, special with her. I imagine once we get enough Cindy's to uh, charge her skill, we should be next to finished with this mission, so... So we got two on the first skill use, okay. Let's get three this time. And there's three, and we're done. Yay! Alright guys, mission nine. Time to uh, get 30,000 coins, and I imagine we can do this one in two attempts with Jedi Luke, so let's get going. Unless we get super bad rolls on the, uh, the Lukes, but eh. Then we'll just do it in three tries. No big deal, no big deal. see what our end coin result ended up being. Eh, also 10,000. Not too bad. That's the end of this mission. Moving on. Yup. Alright guys, mission 10. Clear 7 big zoom in one play. Uh, Solly's gonna be my go-to guy for this one too. Remember, you can use Solly for the time bubble mission as well. If uh, that one is giving you trouble. Did you guys notice that? I was trying to activate the skill uh, after I made a big Jedi Luke chain. You know you've been playing Jedi Luke too much when... I'm curious how many big zoom we're going to end up with. 60 large zoom. Super fantastic. Uh, so, that does it. Sully's really good for this. Baymax is really good for this. Uh, I'm not sure if the Alice big zoom counts towards it as well, but you could probably give that a shot. And uh, let's move on to the next mission. Alright guys, up next is mission number 11, pop 160 score bubbles. As I mentioned in my uh, video introducing this event, I said I was going to use Genie, and I'm going to stick with that because every one of his skill iterations essentially produces score bubbles, so uh, let's see how we do here. Crazy multiplier when he punches like a huge mound of those score bubbles. Whew! Finally completed this thing. Uh, I gotta say this is probably... no, no! It's probably grindier than the Enter Fever Time 60 times. You can probably do that one in two and a half games. Um, was there one that was even more grindier than this? Probably active. no, activate skill 160 times wasn't as grindy as this one. That basically does it for 160 score bubbles.
Alright guys, up next is mission 12. Uh, for this one we have to make a 40 chain, but I accidentally deleted the file, so I'm going to redo this one using the Fever 60 time mission. Instead, I'm going to use Solly for this one, just because I enjoy playing with him quite a lot for these types of missions. Uh, but you can use Baymax, you can use Little Oyster, you can use Elizabeth Swan, Alice, basically anyone that makes it easy for you to create a bunch of chains. Elsa is really good as well. Um, but anyways, I'll be using uh, Sully for a very particular reason, so let's get right into it. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean, and uh, we're probably not going to get too many fever times on this one, actually. So, let's see how it pans out here. Now, the trick to make this as entertaining as possible is to clear the zoom all but the sullies okay so there we go we got to get rid of the scars the bunnies because afterwards it's going to be a lot harder to uh, get rid of these ones once we make the large sullies so there's the scars all right let's see what we get here now Oh, good. They ended up in uh, relatively good spots. Okay, so I will use one of the big ones um, just to get rid or uh, recharge the skill one more time. Perfect. All right, we're down to 10 seconds. We got to do this now. So 57. And I'm not even going to use the bubble, I'm just going to let it do its thing. There you go guys, that's how you get a 40 or 57 uh, chain. I uh, hope that helps, and now we're actually going to do the Fever Time mission, so see you in a sec. <laughs> Alright guys, mission 13, we got to enter Fever Time 60 times, I'm going to be using um, Cinderella for this one, just because I find her fun to use. You can really do this one with basically just about anyone. Well, you can do this with everyone, but uh, some are just... It's hard to time re-entering fever time with them, and there's a finite amount of times you can enter fever time, so... Uh, just stick with the blasters, the, the thumpers, those characters, they'll do the job for you. Mission 13 complete. Alright guys, up next is the second mystery mission. We have to use a bearded zoom to turn all the skulls to gold. So, I'm going to use Jack Sparrow for this one just because, well, you know, he's kind of cool and all, so... Alright, there we go. And that's the mystery mission. Alright everybody, we're at the last mission, the last piece of the map. Uh, I'm going to be using Jedi Luke. Do I have Gyro? Good. So, let's get started. And uh, hopefully we can do this in just 
two missions. Or one if we get super lucky or something. That'd be sweet. I think that's it guys. Uh, I think we wrap this one up. That should be enough after the bonuses. And do we just get the pin now? That's the last piece of the map. Is there another treasure perhaps? Ooh, uh, there is another treasure. But uh, that does it for the last mission. Alright everybody, we are here at the final treasure chest. Let's get right into it and see how many of those bubbles we can pop. I'm just going to use one hand. Um, hopefully we'll do relatively well. Because I used Jedi Luke as the last zoom with Gyro, I'm unable to turn Gyro off for this mission. Or maybe I just uh, rushed into it a bit too quick. But anyways, let's see what we can do even with Gyro enabled. Come on, give me some more bubbles. They're barely giving me any bubbles. Or maybe they're just not falling fast enough from the screen, but that's it. Um, ooh, uh, very nice. Not so much the coin amount, but the animation of the chest, clear, and we got our golden pin, huzzah! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, that is the end of the Pirates event, it was short and sweet, and sometimes short and sweet is very welcome, especially following uh, almost immediately after the grind fest that was the Star Wars event. Uh, the rewards were amazing, actually they were not, but that's okay because the event was fun in and of itself. And we have Mr. Squidface to look forward to in a few days, uh, Davy Jones that is, so I'm very excited to do the gameplay videos for him. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below. And again, thank you guys so much, see you next time.